And welcome back. This is Kotel for another War Rights event. We have an HDC, House Divided Campaign. It is Roulette Lane. I'm pausing because it, it, for some reason it feels like the font has changed on the tab. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I might be going blind. Um, 277 on the current server pop. 137 on the CSA attacking. 141 on the defending union. As we are live at 43, I'm just going to kind of go down the list here. So we got 19th Indiana led by Racer. We've got NYV led by Parker. We've got 9th Corps led by Prattley. MWB led by Velkine. 79th led by Ricks. This is all on the Union team. 12th New Jersey, new unit to the event under Atomic. Let's see, we've got 123rd here led by. I don't see Danson. I'm not sure who's leading 123rd. I might just be missing him. 83rd is in here as well, led by Tank. We've got Captain Hood and Killoy reading, leading the 42nd PA. We've got Lieutenant Mattis here on battery along with uh, looks like a number of 9th Corps folks as well. On the CSA side, we've got Lightburn leading 4th West Virginia. Gene leading the HL. We've got... We already have battle going on? Not quite yet, but... Oh, wow, we got something here. So we had an advance here by 9th Corps doing a decent job of trying to do a quick ambush. And they're going to try to get away. And then we had a second ambush here Don't shoot. by the 42nd PA. Uh, looks like we got a few more seconds here. I'll try to finish off the intro real quick. So we got HD, new unit, lieutenant, uh, not new unit to the event on the Helbert. You've got IBB led by Jeff Knights, 20th New York led by CJ, 10th Tennessee led by Knights, Legion leading PB, and SR as well. All right, that I think is everybody on the big board. This is a continuation. Now the third time of IBV, IVB fighting against USAA in southeastern Tennessee. So everything is under control. That is why this is a. I like how aggressive the Union was out the gate, but they didn't get caught out, which was the key. Uh, you know, it's not doing a lot of damage, um, but maybe kind of spooked the CSA a little bit. Um, but they, to their credit, don't seem that spook. They are still proceeding forward here and moving down to that final piece. All oh, those bullet impacts on the water look kind of cool. Oh, shit. Already coming in. Now, be advised, the 10-second uh, uh, flag timer is in effect, along with the 20% increase on... Uh, ticket, so that does make it a, a bit more difficult for the attacker as a general rule than it would otherwise be. This has become a very, basically two giant lines facing each other right now here. Um, not even on tickets right now. CSA is matched pretty well, you know, messed up here. We'll see if they want to make a move. But I think it's going to be very hard to attack up this hill. Union does have a pretty significant... Uh, the ten-man advantage, not not unsurmountable, but it is it is an it is a ten-man uh, balance. Well, nine men right now, and I might be one of those. Eh, I'm not sure if it's counting me or not. I think it is. All right, so we got some forward movement here. Here comes Legion. He is pressing forward here. There we go. I see him. I see. I see. I see. I see. Reload! 
Uh, CSA has not moved up all of its elements here. Actually, a few of them are still back here. And it looks like HL has... Oh, no, they're going to rotate back into the woods here. Uh, it's going to be very hard for this unit out here to stand uh, if they get all the uh, concentrated Union fire at them. I'm not sure if the rest of the CSA might be thinking about juking another way or what's going to happen here. But uh, they can't spend too long out here in the open like this. It is still 10 man in balance. Now, this is IVB t IVB's token, so that means IVB is making the calls for the CSA team. And there is also Steam Chat, so. Yeah, I'm not sure what the CSA is hoping to accomplish with this maneuver here. Good rotation out by these units over here. Company A. It's like 83rd and the NYV. Getting a pretty good angle on him. Excellent volleys. In the field, southeast. Yep. Center of the message. Company's loaded. Company's loaded. Company. Firing by company. Aim up um, the hill. Yeah, that unit going up by itself, I'm not sure about that. They are kind of sticking out, and, and you know, the nail that sticks out. It's hammered back in. That's where I could use Jehovah, but, uh,. What was it? Dan Sickles going out in Gettysburg, and then uh, Hooker said, "Oh, he'll come tumbling back here soon enough." On day two, and when he went out to the wheat field. Yep, and the CSA is gonna fall back there after a pretty bloody engagement. Um, they lost about two thirds of their ticket advantage. They did about a quarter to the Union. Um, We'll see how they maneuver next. Now, again, if you're looking at this and how the Union has set up here, they are massed on the top here. There may be an opportunity for the CSA to hit the corner with some good effects here. We'll see if that's what they opt for. And thanks for the 10 tickets, I believe 83rd is saying. Uh, I do think, I know it's tough and it, it's a bit of a grind on that corner, but I do think with the way the Union is positioned right now, the corner might be their best bet. Um, it's like NYV is repositioning here, so this window might be closing now. Yeah, that window was closing where you could have caught those guys out in the open. Uh, it's tough, you got to reorganize your men, and you know, but... Uh, We're at 35 minutes here, and I, I haven't really seen a major attack yet. They, you know, we they did have this maneuver here, but um, honestly, it didn't seem like the whole CSA force was ever really committed to it, and the Union was able to concentrate fire pretty well to it. But I think we're looking at possibly a, a charge here. There it comes. Yeah, I think it came a little bit too late. If you caught those other units out here, you would have gotten a lot of nice tickets against the Union. Instead, they've had time to redeploy. There's that already.
I love you, pig, but I can't hear nothing else. Although, keep in mind, look at how much damage. This is a good counterattack by the Union. But oh, I don't hear Pig, so that's, I'm just going to let that roll. <laughs> He's not saying anything bad. I just, it was very loud. <laughs> um, but look at how much damage they had, they're doing here with this attack. Keep in mind that how far apart they were before this charge. And now look at how close they are. Yeah, they hit engage, but look at how far they pushed the Union down on casualties. Now imagine if they had done this earlier, and I still think if they had caught out the NYV and the uh, 83rd out here outside of cover, you know, they would have had a much better success. Oh, oh, Clive, independent. Holy shit, that was loud. I might have to check my settings. I don't know. Is this too loud for you guys? Let me know. This, it, it seems louder than I think. But again, look at look at what we where we came from after that charge here. So you know, within two or three minutes here, they've not completely undone the advantage that the Union had, but they have gotten it a lot, lot, lot closer. Um, and um. So I, I think this, you know, the main thing for the CSA is not to get discouraged and figure out good places to do the hit. Now, they might be thinking about attacking from a different angle here, um, which is not a bad thing. The thing to always keep in mind is time. Right now, we're at 3240. Uh, Union is still at battle ready. Um, you know, that's a little bit behind on this map, but again, with the 20% uh, ticket increase, this is about the pace that you would normally see. Um, because right now I'd usually expect uh, Union to be about engaged right now based on that level of fighting. Not too far engaged, but a little bit. But the CSA still has plenty of time to uh, to organize another attack. And in fact, they're going to be over here. They might be trying to juke the Union um, one way or the other. How you going, Jake? What you doing, buddy? Are you off on an adventure, Jake the Tank? I know Frank the Tank. I don't know Jake the Tank, though. But he is five tickets for SR Chief. Yeah, we will see where the CSA decides next. Again, the the only thing I would caution is taking too much time, but, um... Again, I, well, you know... Again, this is not bad. I think one more good attack, like they just did, will... Even out the tickets for them. Slow fox. Now I'd be curious if they go straight in or if they stage again. Um, uh, through the weed, Leisha, through the weed. I'm not sure which one would be better. I'd have to think about that right now. So they are going to restage. Now the benefit of that, you know, to be honest with you, what. Maybe they did just draw a whole lot of volley fire, so right now there's no loads on the Union team. That might have been an opportunity to attack, but I don't know if you can cross that distance in enough time for it to matter. They might have their reloads anyway by that point. Um, but they didn't... Uh... Okay, so they're going back to the woods again. They might try. Maybe they'll try and attack up this hill and try to take the corner. Where they might split up their command. That might be look like that. That's what they're doing. They're leaving some troops over here by the barn. Some are moving out to the woods. Boys, they're all coming. They're all coming, boys. 
Oh, yeah, and the key is not to lose too much time right now. You got to you got to mass. You do have to mass, but once you do, you do, you want to attack as soon as you can. Time is definitely the enemy of the CSA, and it is the friend of the Union. Again, you have some men over here on the bond, maybe to try to draw fire. But I, I honestly think it's better to mass up and attack all at once. And they are not... They're doing this shootout thing again. To be honest with you, um, you know, we're going to talk different strategies. I think this works out much better on the 5 second than it does on the 10 second. The reason I say that is I think it's a lot easier to sustain your forces out here, especially since the flags are... Well, there's one flag here. I thought the flags... I don't see any other. Are there all the flags back here? One's uh, one's back here in the dirt, and one's over here. There's all kinds of problems with the flags back here. But yeah, and then you got another bunch of CSA that's not engaged over here, so the Union can really concentrate their fire. And I think this just wastes your time, to be honest with you. Union is actually shooting a little bit high on these violence, as you can see. They're not really killing uh, nearly as many as men as they need to be. Again, if you get too far forward, though, you kind of stick out like a nail here. And I think IVB going up by itself, everybody's going to start aiming at you. Like that. You can do this. Well, HL moved up with them, but again, this is only two units. This is not enough, and that flag being this far forward, I, I, ugh. Union did hit engage now at the 27 minute mark. And the Union is jumping up and over. Is this part of the CSA plan? Maybe this might be it. Maybe they're going to try to draw him over here and hit on the other side. Oh, that was a hell of a volley coming in. Who was that? 42nd. Get that straggler. Man, whatever's left here is done. They gotta get out of here. In fact, it might already be too late. Yeah, I mean, part of it is you didn't go in with everything. Part of it was, you know, you... I'm not sure about standing up and shooting when the Union's all on this big line like that. And, yeah, 12-man imbalance, too, doesn't help. Uh, that's another thing that's against the CSA right now. Not not a huge imbalance, okay. but you'll feel 12 men on a uh, in a match. Now, you can argue, okay, well, the Artie's over here, but, you know, the Artie's doing damage as well, so. Um, it's not an easy map for the CSA right now. Although, let's see, at the ticket level here, still not doing horrible. I really think, you know, mass up here. This, eat, who's this right here? Back like, to try to catch the 6th New York. Like, if you could catch the 6th New York out, you know, that's that's a whole lot of tickets. And you could really punch, you know, maybe try to punch through and take this corner after eliminating that unit and really make the Union pay. You saw how much of a ticket uh, gain they had uh, once they really got into that fight with the Union on the corner. Even though they lost it, they made up so much ground, and they're with these shootouts, they're kind of losing it. Lots of out of line tickets into the northeast. Good prioritization of the out of lines. That is. I would still say it's time to go because look at the CSA is coming now. That retreat by Parker was just in time. And in fact, 83rd might get caught out here. This is a mistake to get caught out like this. Those are five tickets you did not need to give up. And they're, they're out of position now. Up and over, up and over, up and over. Hold, hold, hold. Now here comes the CSA. There's a flanking attack coming down 
from one of these elements here from Ninth Corps. Proudly's going to try to get behind the CSA. But again, this is what you kind of want. You want a close fight here. Oh, counter charge coming in by the 42nd. There's still a lot of CSA back here, though. I, I don't know why they're not going in. All right, here's a flank maneuver here by Hood. Not Hood, by Knight, I should say. That was, I think, a little bit late, to be honest with you. I mean, again, this is you, you want to try to get these out-of-line tickets as much as you can. Again, there's still a ton of men over here. I... I, I Knight just got nailed by an arty. Why, why are you only sending... If you're going to send stuff in, send it in. What? Why are you... Why would Knight go in and then all these guys don't? I mean, I got to leave a couple guys back for the flag, maybe? But they're not going to charge this out. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of Get here. Get him, Bradley! Up and over stone fence on no, the right. No, 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 don't go in, don't go. Oh, we, we can just shoot him. third, up and over right side on the stone wall. But even with all that, you know, it, it wasn't a great attack. And now, now why are these guys coming in here? What, what? Guys, guys, what are you doing here? It's too late now, guys. You can't trickle in. That is, no, 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 no. Back to the fence, gentlemen. Come here, you fuck. Come here, you fuck. All right, get a line, get a line. Placing the snake rail. All right. Hey, okay, so we're at 22 minutes. Uh, Union, uh, about a little bit less than half down to engaged. And it's starting to fall behind a little bit here. Now maybe you make a play for the top of the hill once you're masked up. Again, if you didn't send those elements to, you know, get killed out there, if you kept 10th Tennessee and those other ones back, if you weren't going to, don't, don't, you can't half commit. Not on this map. you got to fully commit. You know, if you're going to have one diversionary force, fine, but then it's got to take, like, another position. You can't have it come into the fight late. you got to send everything in and hit it hard. And CSA is now at taking losses. And now they're moving back here. Again, now you're giving up time. And not everybody's moving back. Maybe this is a diversionary force over here. Again, with the way the Union is set up out here in this kind of Z formation here, I mean, if you want to make a play for this, you know, kind of cut over and cut across, I mean, go for it. I mean, as far as the Union goes, um, there's not much to... I don't really have much to say. I mean, they're really massing up their defense here. I mean, they've got a couple advantages I talked about earlier. You know, again, a little bit over on manpower. Uh, still 12, and we're maxed out on the server right now, so... Um, All the onions. What are you, French? What about onions? Again, CSA's taking a lot of time right now. I don't know, but... I don't know if they're waiting for people to get spawned back in. That might be what they're doing, but honestly... Hey, bro, I, I would just advise spawn... If you get wiped, spawn main, and everybody move out at the same time. The flags are really there for exploitation. You know, you keep them kind of back here... And then you move forward, you know, if, if you if you get that, you know, breach. And you can exploit it. Rise, rise. Crash, load. Philip! Five anniversary, don't you know this? By the way, it is uh, Ninth Corps' sixth anniversary, so... Uh, if you want to congratulate A to the uh, Ninth Corps, and uh, you know, if you guys want to give him a shout out. I'm kind of sad Dragon wasn't here to uh, stream. I know he's been busy lately. Yeah, we can kind of zoom out here right now. So we kind of got we got this this kind of Z formation here going by the Union. Um, 
Actually, they rotated a whole unit out here. This is a perfect opportunity now for the CSA. It might have been just too late. Yeah, they might have gotten back just in time. Uh, but they are going to try. I, I think this is a little shallow. Um, but they still might catch these guys out here. Depending on how they uh, they do this attack. we got Gene out in front. They might still catch these guys here. You know, never mind. This actually is going to catch a lot of these guys out here, and I think it's going to give them a lot of good tickets here. So, yep, this, this attack on this side, I think, is going to work out real well and really help even out these tickets and maybe even give them, a you know, a breach point. Artie is going to make it tough on them, but... The key is to not kind of get stuck. You want to get stuck in. I would say you don't want to stay here because you want to get close enough that the Artie can't, you know, really be an impact because without them shooting their friends. I'm sorry, Big Romancer. I can't hear myself talk. I, I'll unmute you after the game's over, but it's... it's I, can't, I can't think of it. It's maybe it's the intent. Six New York here in a great crossfire position. See, now the attack's over. There's no point sending it forward anymore. It's done. But again, you know, looking at the tickets, they made up some ground. And 10 Tennessee went in as well on this corner here. I agree with this. You know, they're a little bit distracted. You might be able to get a few good tickets out of it. That is wise words from Mr. Wilkes there. There is no point in going in at this point. I mean, I don't mind letting the officers stand here and die with the pistol and just unload in it, but the troopers, yeah, you're, just, you're not going to do anything. Now, the, the key, though, is now you got to reconsolidate and figure out another angle of attack. Uh, 17 minutes... Uh, hair's breadth away from taking losses. Again, a little bit behind for the CSA. They got to pick up the temple a little bit. And I think part of the problem is you got these kind of, you know, leftovers. Like Gene, I, I don't. I guess this is okay. Oh, he's gonna pull back. Okay, yeah, he's pulling back. That's 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 the right call. I was trying to make an excuse. I was like, is there a reason to stay there? Reset back to the. There's a Rambo sitting right there. But um. Yeah, just keep up the pressure, man. Don't don't get discouraged here. You're taking a long, you know, they gotta get their men back in from uh, Maine here. But uh, once you once you're set, pick an angle and hit it again. That little uh, diversion by 10th Tennessee did not. It worked out fairly well. Um, again, I think that attack was a little bit shallow, but uh, I think I was actually wrong because posting up on this fence here, they got some great angles on 19th Tennessee and these other units here. So that actually worked. That angle of attack actually worked out really nicely. Gotta just pick up the pace. It's it's it being very very. I mean, they lost a lot of time, like almost ten minutes on that nonsense out there, and a lot of their ticket state. If they hadn't done that, if they had instead opted for an attack like they're doing now, I think they would have. Um, I think they would have been even on tickets. To be frank, and the union would be into taking losses right now. Jake the Tank is always just out here doing his own thing, man. He got five tickets. But that little shot by Tori got him down to taking losses. I don't know if it was that shot specifically, but it seemed to be time to it. Come get some, huh? All right. So again, the Union line is pretty spread out here. Like right now, I think if the CSA masked up and did an attack on the hill, I think they would actually have a lot of success. They might not take it, but I, I, to be honest with you, it's going to take a very long time for these units down here to move up to the top of this hill. Um, I would mass up though. They are, they are, they do have a bit of a conga line going right now. 
So I think uh, massing up makes sense. Oh, are they going forward? I think HD is getting a little bit ahead of the game here. They're running right for us. <laughs> some are going in and then some are not. We've got a bit of a breakdown in discipline here, to be honest with you. These four guys. This is just a waste. There they are. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I, I actually don't think you should hit the corner right now. I, I think at this point you should hit the top of the hill. Um, but the corner might work. But uh, we'll see. I, I think. Nice volley coming in. Who was that? Oh, it's 42nd. Kill these rebels. Now you got again an uncommitted unit back here. Uh, uh, unless they're going to make a move up top of the hill or something. You can't have uncommitted units like this. So that was a nice counterattack by the Union. I, the problem with hitting that corner was it was easily reinforceable from all angles of the Union. You know, sometimes that, that corner works, but not when they were formed up like that. That was a, a poor choice. And now these guys are kind of wandering forward here and just giving you nice out-of-line and skirmishing tickets. Like this, what, what what are you doing? What are you thinking doing this? I'm not going that like, way. Like, what is your... Yes. Good job. Sarah Moore, you're like, yes, this is silly. Good job. Co Corporal Maxwell, same thing. They're like, this is silly. No, I'm not going to do that. Good job. Both of those guys, well done. Look at this guy. Is there a guy out here? Hollywood. Hollywood. Oh, boy. This is just silly. What are you doing here? You missed too, Hollywood. Yeah, so now I would I would, I would, would hit, you know, I think, you know, in the center. They reinforce in the center. Now hit another side. Um, either hit this side or, you know, try the hill again. I, I, I mean, look how open the hill is now. Like, if you made a concentrated push towards the hill, I think, again, I think you'd have a lot of success. Um, you might have some success over here, but... CSA is now at breaking, Union at taking losses. 12 minutes remaining. Again, they're taking way too much time on this organization. You should be, frankly, as you're spawning back in, that's when you're having the conversations. When you get everybody masked back here, you should be ready to go. Now, maybe they're waiting for a few other guys to come in, but again, that goes back to random units off kind of disaggregating from the main mass. And again, if they're doing a separate mission, like I've seen 10th Tennessee a couple times do a separate mission, that's fine. You know, you, you, you're you all contributing to it. But, um, you know, if, you, if you're like, okay, we'll get here, and then we'll talk about the plan, wrong answer. Is it Rick's? Is screaming half the fun? Don't let them draw all of our fire. I mean, I suppose. I mean, when I mute you, then you know, as long as you're still screaming, I guess it's fine. But then again, you could scream and not hit the end button, and then it's the same effect, isn't it? I don't know, man. I'm questioning my decisions to sustain this channel. Check. Company's loaded. Hey. Again. Oh, Jake, thanks for the five tickets. Again. I don't know how many out of line tickets. That's that's I, I want to say that's two, maybe three times I've seen Jake run out there and, and, and just feed five tickets to the un to the CSA. Check. 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 New line. Move, move. And next, and here we go again. Oh, you know, I don't, I don't get wiped. You don't get wiped. Yeah, you never get wiped, Ricks. Never, never, man, never. That's right, five tickets. All right, here comes the next attack. 
it's kind of spread out over a wide front here. I'm on this. I don't understand. This this is just going to get massacred here. This is way too wide a front. Although I do like the angle HO came in at. Again, close the distance though. Exactly what HL is doing. Like all these guys here, just flood in and close the distance. Hop over the fence and get into a melee. Just get in their face. Like these guys over here. Good job, HL. HD. Great job. And look, they got a bridgehead here, man. Just fight up it now. Fight up this wall here. Do not let the arty get an angle on you. Oh, no, 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 no. Move forward here. Oh, God. Artie's going to crush this if you give him the opportunity to. Oh, God, don't. No, 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 no. Move forward. Move forward. Move forward. You madman, move forward. Don't just sit here and shoot. Move forward towards him. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job. Good job. Up and over. Uh, shoot the side. I, I mean, it's, it's. Yeah, no, no, that's, that's fine. Just push up, guys. Just shoot them in the face. Oh, God, do not let the arty shape you like this, man. <sighs> you can load in their face. You don't have to bayonet them. But, you know, just, just, just be close enough that... Uh. Well, maybe they were waiting for reinforcements. There we go. They got them on breaking. Look at that. Eight minutes remaining. Eight minutes remaining. I don't know if you can hear me stomping my foot. I gotta go back to the fucking officer days, apparently. Got me going back to my goddamn company commander days here, apparently. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Here is the counter charge here, but the CSA is masked up pretty well here. Maybe that was the right call. I still think they should have gone forward and, and, and got into their face. I think the best chance for the uh, Union right now is to get them down to final push. The key will be for the CSA not to take too many skirmishing casualties. And I still say move forward here a little bit. Knock down their flags. Cut off their retreat. Knock them off, CSA, and you can still win this. Kill these few guys. Again, I don't know why they're not moving up here. This this is boggling my mind. Push forward and, and keep them off the point. Oh, shit. Flag down, flag down. Get on the point, they're taking it! All the way to point, all the way to point. Keep you know, I say that, this is actually working pretty well. I still think they should, but they have a beautiful firing line going on right now, and they are just massacring the Union as they approach here. I think the CSA has it. They might hit They might hit final push here, but I don't think the Union could push them off here, so maybe this was the right call by the CSA. Yeah, see, this was what I was worried about. You waited too long, and they're going to start pushing back in. You need to finish these guys off here. You're going to get put on final push. There we go. HD now pushing forward. Good job by the HD over here. And I think the CSA is going to flood in now here, and that should be their victory. It was a tough one. There's the final push. It doesn't matter, though. The CSA has it. Almost got the Union down to breaking. That was a close one. Uh, stubborn defense by the Union, but I think once the CSA found their rhythm, um, and I really didn't think that broad-based attack would work there, but really what I think sold it was HL kind of came in as a very concentrated mass and seized that point, and I was being critical of them not moving forward, but that might have been the right call because they were able to kind of use that bridgehead and just build off of it and build off of it. I thought the Artie would really crush him. It really didn't. Um, so I think that was the right call there by uh, Gene and the HL. So um, after three battles, um, you know, two draws, now the IVB has defeated the USAA here. Um It'll come at a cost on tickets here, but they're going to get a lot of cars out of the campaign. So this, this monumental battle in eastern Tennessee has ended here.
um, in a victory for the Confederacy. They did a lot of damage to that Union token as well. 1230 is a lot of casualties, but they hurt the Union as well. So, all right. One more to go. I think they got to switch it over to Conquest, though.